Hey, you too. Hmm. Should be a busy day here on the farm. And I think, I don't know if I got allergies or a cold, I don't know what it is, but this is how I'm gonna sound all day. And it's probably gonna get worse throughout the day. And I debated not making a video, but I figured I'd just make you guys deal with it. I don't hide anything on my videos, so I'm not gonna hide the reality of my throat, my voice being gone either. We've got Sukup coming out to finish some work on this air system. I hope we've got a company coming to pump these pits out today. They might be coming tomorrow, I'm not sure. Dad and Jim are gonna come out. We're gonna finish the sickle sections on the 9870 here and get that ready to go. And we got Jeff coming out. He is gonna put the uh, snurt, sopper, snurt stopper seals on our north and south doors. We did the two west doors last year. Worked really well, so we're gonna put new seals on the north and south doors this year also before winter comes and the wind starts trying to blow cold air in there. The first thing we're doing is replacing these sickle sections. So we're taking the wore out ones off. These would shine up a bunch. They're rusty just from sitting because they're bare metal. Take the wore out ones off, put the new ones on. It's gonna do a lot better job of cutting the soybeans. This center section's a little extra pain in the butt. But you can see where I got a bunch of new ones on right here. Morning, Jim. Morning, Zach. About that time, huh? About that time. A little chilly out this morning. I'm gonna need gloves to work with those small bolts on those sickle sections. I pull these off too. Yeah, might as well. Let's pull, pull Gotta off. be out of the way. Yeah. We obviously Sorry. replaced that one once. These are 15 millimeter on the nuts. Our pumper truck is here, so we better lift those grates oh. off. Okay. We need. I'll grab the skid loader if you want to grab a chain. Yeah. Do you want me to get the skid loader? Sure. cover those things there's water in there I think a lot of it is snow melt obviously some of its rainwater and I personally think some of its condensation for being in the ground there when the ground is cold in the spring I don't know there's no way to keep it out of there though we've done everything we can we used to do that with a regular sump pump it would take an entire day to pump those pits out and then the stuff would lay there and stink the dirty rotten corn water Jeff how are you I'm good not a boring day, is it? No, it's not. We got plenty of stuff going on. No, that's fine. That's so Jeff is from Snurt Stopper. That's going to be linked down below. But these are the same seals we put in last year on our west doors. It's a Kevlar material in there, so the mice won't eat it. It's got kind of a double seal to it. Helps keep a lot of the water out of here. And then he puts on some stronger side seals as well and the top seals. So we really liked him on the west doors. He's going to do the north and south ends now. And then we won't hardly have to run the heat in here this winter. Are you done yet? I'm gonna take that as a no. <laughs> so now that you have it three quarters apart, if I try and help you here, am I gonna screw your thought process up? No. This is, this is the piece here. Yep. The three on the end there. Yep, I see there's a split here. Well, the, the three on the end gotta have that. It's all the stuff ones like right running here. Like, no. Right there, yep. Well, that was fast. Those guys must be pumped out. Now they head out back and dump the rotten corn juice down the hill and into the grass where the good Lord can take it wherever he wants. Probably back to our pits ultimately. Is it coming together? Well, I'm hoping this is right. One way or another, it's going together. You just don't know if it's right. I just pulled on the top of that belt, just pulled it back. Ready? Yep, you're clear. Uh, if you can go the other direction, it'll be faster. Yeah. Trying to get this clear so that we can get to that nut. Little more, keep going. 
I think we can get it now. Well, maybe not with that socket, but we'll get a swivel socket. These are pretty good swivel sockets, hopefully. That should get in there. I'm gonna go put the grates back over those grain pits before the souk up guys come in so they don't drive into them. Then we'd have a heck of a project. I can't even hardly be in the sun and keep my eyes open, especially this one. That's why I'm thinking this might be allergies because it's my eyes are scratchy and been dumping visine in them. And Oh yes, look at that. That saves the day right there. That, uh, that's awesome. Come on, slide. There we go. I'm gonna try the second one without the chain and see if I can just push it in with the forks. What do we need now? Yeah. Take these two out and this whole plate comes out of there. Oh, it does? Uh, I'm pretty sure the way it looks to me. Cause We're going to find out anyway, huh? There's nothing holding it up here. Oh yeah, there's a nut on it. Uh, I wonder if there's one on the, where's the other one? I'll bet there's one in the back too. That one is half loose. Did you get on that and loosen it? Nope. It's just been loose? Good. That's why I said we gotta get in there and get yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, there, 13. You on it? Okay, go. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, you know what? Well, we can get to the get that end guard off better then. What that does is nothing. Okay, could swallow these. You right. You know, because it's wide right. open there. <laughs> right. Looks like we have been guys. It's a busy yard this morning. We've got a gas line, the main gas line that runs into the dryer. The tanks, the new tanks are all plumbed in, but the main line going to the dryer needs to be run. We thought the old line was soft, but when we pulled the conduit off of it, a lot of it's copper, and now we kind of have a situation because we got to get underneath that. I don't think we can get under it. No. <laughs> no. So there's no extra. It's, it would be fine like there, but... We don't really want it out here where we're shoveling all the time and walking. No, we really don't. Yeah, it's pinched right there anyway. I don't know if that's, maybe that's been that way. Well, that's disappointing. I'm gonna grab a shovel and dig down a little bit here. We also got Midwest Machinery out here, our deer dealer. We had header height issues yesterday when we hooked it up, so they're trying to figure out what's going on there. The buttons were actually backwards. That's all the farther they can get with it. Pretty gravelly in there. It's gotta go a lot deeper back where you're at, right? It has to, yeah. Tom, is that a load sensor or what is that? From the bleed valve. The bleed valve? That's just the air pressure inside your tube. Okay, for the variable of speed. Exactly. Okay. The more pressure you build up, it's gonna bleed some okay. off. Okay. Where did you go when you went to? Ooh. Yeah. There's not pressure. Did they pressure test it? Is there a cap not, on that there's end? There's a cap on that end. Oh, that's why. You think they it's, pressure? Oh, it must they had to, right? Oh, it's okay. Full of, full so I suppose stuff. we better make sure it's shut off. Yeah. I suppose we better. <laughs> it would make a good video, yeah. But I don't. It's not the type I want to make. A <laughs> little bit of a mess around here yet. But it's all plumbed in, so. There's that. And we got a tanker load yesterday, so these things got a lot of gas in them. It is cut off now. It it's off? Loose, so I don't know if it was completely off. So I suppose they pressure checked it. I suppose. So, we saw how much was in there last time. Yeah. And I suppose just let it hiss for a minute. The tanks are off, so I think we just got to let that line clear out. Man, this is one big motor. That is a big motor, yes. Well, it's 70... Five horse, right? I don't know. I was looking at that. Somewhere on there. I'm pretty sure it's 75 horse, which is the same as what the old one was. 
How's the seal installation going? Oh, it's going really good. Good. So this is the seal he put on the outside of the seal. So it's a double seal there. He's got it run on the inside up at the top. And now for the lower. The chip. There's a little computer board in there he told I you. I saw that, yeah. No good. It, but it sounds like it can get one tomorrow. That's what he said. If we, He didn't know the shipping difference, but otherwise he thought two or three days unless they expedite it. Okay, I think we should expedite it. Just get it it's here. It's pretty small, pretty light. It probably only cost $12. For the so, shipping? Yeah, probably for the shipping, not the chip. Did he tell you what the chip cost? <laughs> no, did he? No. $1,200. $1,200 bucks for the chip? Wow. Yeah. For the size of the quarter? No, it's a bigger... It's a much bigger piece than that. Pull the dealer's back. He's going to try a couple other things. It sounds like there's a couple other things to test before we just say it's that chip. So we're taking a break. See what's going on over here with Tom. Tom's fine. He's just buttoning up some odds and ends. It sound like, sounds like there's a few more guys coming tomorrow and they're going to get that deal totally finished up for us. After further investigation, it was indeed the original chip that he had figured it was to begin with, so we're still waiting on that. Sounds like it can be here tomorrow. How are you? Uh, Did you want to help Jim finish his side? Now you're camera shy? That was not school today? She had an orthodontist appointment. Oh, that sounds like fun. Mm-hmm. You came down and stole some of our lunch and now you want to go back to the house? Yeah. And Hannah's just waiting in here for a ride. Put it in here. Well, that's what she wanted to do after her lunch break. She loves that thing. Good. Is this the this is the last seal then? The one this down at the bottom, the bottom here? Sealer. Yep, bottom with the thermal tube. With your doors, because it's a commercial door, I actually go into the inside lip and so forth. Because the product is made to be used in conjunction with what you have. Okay. Or like way down there, you don't have any more way down there. It's all pulled in. Yeah. I noticed the corners on the old seals had pulled yeah, in. They shrink because it's a polyurethane material. Ours will never shrink. Ours will never um, get, become hard. But if you look at that, your stuff has shrunk this far. What is that? Oh, yeah, it has far? six inches there, six, eight. With your door, we set it inside because then you'll get a rip. If we set it out here, you want to get as good as a seal. So, okay. And then, over, just like your other doors, you see that it, over time this works out, so it's nice and right. It just got it's rolled it up. It finds its spot, yeah. It'll find its spot. And on your doors, we were able to do the original because now we have large, extra large for like bifold doors. Oh, okay. Double X for your hydro doors and stuff like that. Okay. Beautiful. There's one door done. It's definitely a puzzle in this spot. And these, I believe, go like this. With the countersunk bolts. Did he get new bolts? Yes. We may as well just put all new in there. So these ones here... No, nope, they go upside down. Well, they go upside down? Yep. Well, these are the countersunk ones. So those are junk, right? Yeah. Well, it took some time. It's, uh, I think it's 3.30 in the afternoon now, but we did get just about all these replaced. We left a few that didn't quite need it. Are you having fun? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Seems like she's got it figured out. Well, Onyx and I got to run somewhere right now, so we are shutting it down for the day. We got that head done. Tom's got a few things to finish up with the dryer and it sounds like the whole crew will be back tomorrow. Jeff is done with the door seals, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, it is actually two days later now. It's not the next day, it's two days later. 
I was so sick yesterday, I hardly got out of bed. So Jim and Dad were out here, they went through the grain cart, got that going. I feel much better today, but my voice is obviously not all there. The bad news is we got a tire on the semi-trailer over here that is leaking badly. Needs to be fixed right away. The good news is this thing is going to go out and do soybeans right now. Is that exciting, Isla? Yeah. I think so too. That came easy then. I'm trying to keep my distance from them because I don't want to get them sick. Kind of an important time of the year for us. We don't really want to be down guys for a week. It didn't feel that heavy to me. That's a good point. Dad was always really good oh at math. Alright, Jim took off with that tire. He's gonna run to the shop and get that patched up. Got a pretty big obvious hole in it. There's a, I think it was a nail or a screw that was punched right in it. You could hear it leaking out. So he's gonna go get that fixed. And Dad's gonna break into this field right at home here. Didge, sometimes people ask how you're doing because you're not around as much as Anna. She's doing good. She just goes on more adventures. Anna's more of a people person. She likes to follow us around a lot. Didge is more of a search for rodents and squirrels type of dog. 70-80% of these are pretty dry. Right here it's more than that. Don't, don't ask me how those got there. But there are a lot of green ones in the middle right at the bases of the plants. So we'll see if they're dry enough to carry through or not. If nothing else, we'll take a couple hundred bushels out just to get everything moving. Make sure the combine is set right. So the first thing I see is that the stubble looks good. There are some beans out here. These I'm pretty sure are coming off the head. Let's see what we got in the middle. Definitely some adjustments need to be made. See, there's a lot of green ones like this in there that are going to be hard to get to shell out. Well, that one shelled out. This one's still got beans in it. That one's shelled. These all shelled. But those are what those beans look like, so we don't want much of that in there. I think there's too many green ones yet. There's a lot of green ones yet. They were down to 12% where there wasn't anything green, but then they're well over 14 where there's green ones, and I'm sure some are 18. So well, you look right here, there's a lot of green stems, and look at the kind of kind of greenish or yellowish straw right there, and I think there's a lot of beans carrying over with it. Yeah, look so this is, this is our problem here, is how many leaves are hanging on, and these, these stems... They're tough to cut. They're really pliable when they got a lot of moisture in them yet. So even a lot of these pods actually are still, this one is really juicy. So it's, it's, not, it's not really ready. Two thirds or three quarters of them are overly dry, but then there's just enough in there that, yeah. yeah. It, looks bad in the tank, but it, it does look bad. Yeah, but they stopped right in that low spot where it was worse than green ones. Sure, well, and we haven't made a single adjustment yet. Right. But I mean a lot of green beans, big swelled up ones. But look at all the green stems in there. We don't expect it to go, but Dad's gonna make one cut, one swath down the end of the driveway, and then cut through the middle of the field just to see what the center of the field is like. Sometimes the end rows are a little bit wetter because there's a little more compaction. They're next to the trees. Things are just different on the end rows sometimes. But, like I say, we don't actually expect it to be dry enough to go, but he's gonna try it. Where are you headed, Isla? To feed the deer, some apples? Anna, 
Anna. Oh, she's going to Onyx's side. This does look a lot better through the center here. And he must think so too, because he's coming back. Much less green here through the middle, but you can still see, like that was a, a green one there, that's pretty slimy bean. Hmm. That straw's pretty thick too. Should make sure we got the knives in. Down to under 10 in, in the sandy spots where there's 10 bushel of the acre. Yeah. We're down to 10 and on the good ground 50 bushel of the acre is 13 and a half. But there's still a good amount of green ones in there, isn't there? Yeah, but they're going to blend off. I'm guessing they're going to be under 13 at the elevator. Okay. Oh man. They're dry. Yeah. You got a couple big ones there. Yeah. They're probably 18% but the rest, they're dry. Shifting the rotor to high to run the rotor faster does a better job of threshing them out, especially the tough ones. If we can pick up a little speed. And the knife we're not in, so that explains why the stubble was so long and stringy. Dad said they definitely put them in, so they must have fallen out, but they're up again in there now. Hopefully that fixes that. It's clean out there. Yeah, it is really clean right here. There's Jim back with our tire already. Dad's gonna shut that off and go help Jim throw that tire back on because he doesn't want me helping Jim. And I really shouldn't because we just, we can't all get sick right now. So he's gonna actually shut that off, then make a few changes and come back out here once that tire's mounted. But it's late enough in the afternoon here. I'm actually gonna run and I will be back tomorrow hopefully with more of a voice and some more farm content. In a day or two here, I'll be able to actually work with these guys. Okay, thanks for watching. Keep it between the rows. Mm -hmm.